Hi, this is Eric with Forge Gone Conclusions. Today we're going to be making a necklace with a Hope nameplate. So this is our stock we're going to be using. So we're going to cut Hope out and today we're going to be using the milling part of our engraver. We have our piece of silver here. Uh, this is going to be about where the milling action is going to be occurring. We have our milling tool. This is a 0.6 millimeter cutting burr and it just slots in here and you'll actually, it'll be rotating and that's what's going to be cutting the silver. So this is the Magic Art program uh, and the engraver is connected to it. We're going to be cutting out this design for Hope and you've, we have our jump rings there and that's what's going to connect it to the chain. So the machine's actually going to cut around all the, um, the letters. So there's a whole bunch of manipulation that was done to get this shape. So if we look at these other ones, there's a lot of different styles of text that you could choose. So definitely, you know, when you're considering the custom option, there's a lot of a lot more options once you start diving into that. So we have our hope cut out. We're going to be putting it into a magnetic tumbler just for a little while. This is going to clean up some of the edging and then we'll start doing more work to it. The next step is we have a spot here. We got to put a little bit of detail there for the E. And then uh, we're going to do some jump rings and attach it to the chain. Now we're going to start sanding the top and then we're going to move into polishing it. We'll get everything polished up before we worry about attaching it to the chain. We're going to be putting the maker's mark and then we're going to be putting 925 which is sterling silver written on to the section of the back of the piece. We have our hope polished up and now we're going to be cutting the chain. We're going to be taking an inch out of it. This chain is 18 inches long and we're going to be removing a chunk of it and then adding jump rings and then the uh, design will be featured on the chain and won't move around. We put our jump rings on the Hope pendant and now we're going to be soldering everything up. We've soldered up all of our jump rings. We're going to clean them up a little bit and give one last polish to the Hope pendant and then uh, it'll be done. Our hope necklace is completed. 
So we've got our jump rings on there and we have the pendant hope captured in the middle. So, and we have our adjustable necklace. So there it is. Thanks for joining us today. Again, this is Eric with Forge Gone Conclusions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you.